All right, what's up, guys? So, first things first, I wanted to wish my good friend Priscilla a happy birthday. Some of you guys may remember her name. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a couple of years now, uh, you most likely remember me reacting to a YouTube channel called Four Souls in every video that they were uploading at the time. Um, but yeah, so it's the uh, oldest sister part of that group where me and her, like, it's funny because we didn't become friends until after high school but i feel like most likely a lot of people gonna think like the way i'm gonna be talking about her we've been friends since kids like honestly though i wish i had a friend like her when i was a kid like you know it's it's something where it's like it overall feels like it just i mean life is good you know already now having her as a friend but i feel like life probably would have been 10 times better if i knew her since like preschool or something so anyways um but no let's all go ahead and talk about that real quick you you know uh like how we became friends because it's funny we went to the same high school never talked to each other we had like the same mutual friends conversation never like ignited between the both of us it wasn't until after we had graduated from high school and we really started becoming friends but it was actually funny because it was a year after um i had graduated from high school and I remember because we were friends on social media. We just wouldn't talk. We'll like each other's posts and things, I think. But other than that, like, no, we just we never really had talked and things. And so I think she had posted something on there. And I had reached out. And it's just like, hey, if you need a friend to talk to, I'm here for you. You, if you, if It's up to you whether or not you want to, like, trust me with a personal matter. But I'm like, hey, I'll be the best friend that you need to talk to if you need that and things. And so anyways... Fast forward years down the road, I completely forgot about that conversation, and I think I was just um just chilling one night, just either working on videos or whatever, and so she had messaged me, and it's funny because I almost ignored that message. Like I don't think I ever told her that. I, don't, I, I think I might have talked about that a couple of times, like either in podcast episodes or whatever, but anyways, almost ignored the message because <laughs> around that time, I was getting a lot of spam messages where they'll start off saying like, hey, you won $10,000. Go check your mail real quick. I'm like, how do you even know where I live? How do you even, like, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? So I almost ignored the message, but I was like, you know what? Nah, let's see where this goes. See, I'm like, I'm bored. I want to see where this goes to and stuff. So anyways, and then no, it was like, you know, she, she it wasn't no bot trying to steal my personal information. Like, no, this is an actual person that thinks. So <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, because it was freaking social media. I'm going to just give y'all like a little word of advice um you know when people start asking for like personal information just go just just delete the messages go about your business ignore them delete that person as a friend uh because no, i think either it, it either would have been that or i would have tried to like reach out on a different um like you know platform that she's on saying like hey your account is messaging me i don't know if that's you or what like what, what's going on right now so anyways um but no then she reminded me that uh overall like a couple i think it was like maybe a couple of years prior where uh at that time because it was in 2017 when she had reached out to me and so it was like 20 yeah it was 2015 when i had reached out to her and was overall let her know like hey if you need a friend to talk to i'm here for you and she reminded me of that I had completely forgotten. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, but that sounds like something that I would do. And then I think when I went back and had checked the messages, I was like, oh, I guess I did. I was like, all right, cool, cool. And then, yeah, from there, it was like, you know, always just, you know, talking uh, like her, just being super supportive of me and my uh, like career. Then, you know, same thing with her and her career. Because, yeah, if you guys um, had watched those videos like me or either the Four Souls videos on their channel or my reaction videos, um her and her family are painters and so yeah i was like i never really would have thought i sat down and would react to like people painting but i'm like hey if that's your friend you're gonna show love and support regardless and stuff and it has any really, like gave me a different like outlook i'm like nah man i like painting videos paint videos are sick i'm like this stuff is satisfying <laughs> i'm like i don't know what it is but i like it and things but no, nah, man, like, it's somebody where it's like, I'm really happy that we're friends, you know, like, you don't really have too many friends, like, well, at least for me, it's like, I don't really have too many friends like her in life, and, uh, yeah, it's like, you know, it's just overall dope to just have somebody like her to call you, like, call her your friend and stuff, so, nah, Priscilla, just always know you are greatly appreciated, thank you for everything, I hope you're having the best birthday, or whenever you do get a chance to see this video, I hope you did have a bet, um, the best birthday of all time, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later, everybody just spam in the comment sections below, happy birthday Priscilla, 
And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.